So up here, if you guys want to choose other shapes, just do a right click. Or if you guys have a trackpad, two fingers for your right click. And then there's all these other shapes that you guys can do. So go on with the rounded rectangle. You guys can do ellipse tool, a uh, star. Let's just go throughout each one actually, just to show you how to handle each one of these. So if I'm making a rounded one, you guys will see this. And then I can just select up here again, the selection tool, which is V. So get used to the shortcuts, by the way. But I'm just showing you the long way, just so you guys can get used to it. But this is what I'm selecting. Shortcut would be the letter V. And then if you grab this on the corner, you guys can make it more round or less round or not rounded at all, sharp edges. So you guys can always mess around with that. Now, if you're thinking, well, what happens if you made a square already and you want that to have rounded edges? So I made this one from before. You can actually make it have rounded edges already. So see this right here? You can make it have rounded edges. I can make it more round and more round. And even up to a circle. So that's how round you can go with any shape. So whether I started with just a rectangle or rounded, I can always switch up between the two. And remember the circle I just made? Well, we do have that shape here as well. So in order to make a perfect circle in here, all we have to do is just click, press shift. It's going to be a perfect circle. If you don't want a perfect circle, just press and make it whichever shape you want. So you guys can make it like so and just move it around. If you want to keep it as a perfect circle, just like a perfect square, just hold on to shift and you guys can just make this as big or small as you need. Now let's keep looking at your shapes. We're going to go into the next one. So on this next one, same deal. We're just going to create one to move it around. We have to select this and there you go. And on the sides, you guys want to flip this without clicking anywhere, just scroll over it. So here on the side, and you guys can just move it. And there we go. All right, so this is a polygon. But what happens if you want to put more sides or less sides? You guys can actually mess around with that quite a bit. And that's just using your arrows on your keyboard. So let's just choose this for now. So this polygon that we chose. So it's on the left hand side of our screen, select it, start making it. And as you make it, press your arrows on your keyboard. So press the up and up, down arrow. So if you press down, you guys can make it all the way to a triangle. If you press your up arrow on your keyboard, you guys can add more and more sides to this. More and more sides. So let me just zoom in to show you what I'm doing exactly. So to add sides or take out sides, it's your arrows that go up or down on your keyboard. So down arrow, we'll take it down all the way to a triangle. Up arrow, we'll add more sides to it, all the way up to almost a circle, basically. And we can take down more or less less sides to make it like so, or just leave it as is. So again, within the one shape that we chose, we can make various shapes from it. And just by pressing V, we can just grab the side, shift, and make this bigger. Now to go through your artboard, so just click anywhere, press shift, and hold on to shift, and you guys see this little hand? Well, that's gonna help you, if you click through, just move around your artboard itself. So that's something you guys are gonna want to do. You also want to zoom in and zoom out. For that, all you guys have to do is just press Command minus, Command plus. You guys can zoom in and out. If you have a trackpad, it's kinda like on an iPad. So just like in an iPad, you guys can zoom out by pinching. You guys can do the same thing on a trackpad if you have one. So just pinch, and that's gonna make you zoom out or just go the other way and you guys can zoom in. And then just hold on to your space bar and then just click and drag in order to get through your artboard. Of course, these are shortcuts. You do have this hand right here, which you guys can select on the left hand side. And that's this hand. So you guys can just go throughout your artboard and just move throughout it, especially when you're making small things right here. So if you wanna make any incisions here, draw something really small, we would need to do this just to go around the entire board. We're gonna press V to get this back. And the last shape that we're gonna take a look at is a star. So on, again, on the left hand side, you guys are gonna right click on it or just with two fingers on your trackpad and then choose star tool. Zoom out so you guys can see what's gonna happen. 
we're gonna make a perfect star. So let me just get rid of some of this stuff first. So I'm gonna select it, press delete. There we go. Select the star once again. And here we go. I'm gonna start making it. I'm gonna hold on to shift just so you go straight ish. Then I'm gonna move it down. I'm moving it down by pressing V and I selected this, the selection tool, so I can actually move this around. And then that's my star. However, just like the other shapes, you guys can mess around with the star and have more points to it or less. So we're gonna select the star again. And then when we're making this star, press your up or down arrows on your keyboard. So if press down, it's gonna take out more points from the star until it gets to this shape. Or press your up arrow and your star can have various points to make it a sun. And I'm not really sure up to how many points you guys can make. I don't know exactly. I've never tried to go to the max, but you guys can go on and make it like so. So these are the two shapes that you guys can make. And of course you guys can take down the points. So you don't need that many points. You guys can choose exactly how many points you guys want in your star. Obviously the more you make, the more of a uh, sun it starts becoming just because of all the points. We're just gonna leave that one as is right there. And those are the different types of stars that we guys can make right here. And if you're wondering, can you make these edges rounded? Yes, you can. Just like a square, just like any other one. First of all, select this or press V on your keyboard, select the star. So I'm gonna zoom in and press this. Then just go down on it and I'm gonna make that edge circular. Same goes here. I can make this more circular and let's just go full on circular. So there you go. So we can make these rounded edges on a star as well. So once again, let's say you guys are making a really cool design where you guys have all these stars everywhere and you're making it like so, but it would be kind of useless to cut the star that's out of, goes beyond the borders. Well, that's what I'm telling you to press the shortcut key that we made so you guys can view exactly how it's gonna print out. It's gonna print out like so. And this is how you guys are gonna look at it. So again, I'm just going to view, and I'm going to trim view. But I already have a shortcut set up for that on my keyboard, so I can just toggle between the two. But anyways, these are really, really quick introduction into shapes, into Illustrator. We're gonna go into the next episode. We will get even more into depth into Illustrator so you guys can have a good handle how to use this tool. But as far as this video goes, we're all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.